Hello, this is Mike Latham at Collector Knives. I was going to do a video today, uh, call a friend of mine, uh, and asked him to send me, if asking if he had a slip joint that was sharp. And uh, this is the guy I had, I asked if he had one that was sharp. And uh, he said, yeah, I've got one that's sharp. He said, the one in my pocket. And I said, does it have a half stop? And he said, yeah. And I said, would you be scared to open it with your thumb? And he said, well, I would probably be scared to open it with my thumb. But I always get, uh, when I did videos, uh, I would all, and I'm going to open this right here while I'm talking. Uh, when I did videos, you put them on YouTube. I'd always get people comment. Well, a knife must not be very sharp. You can open it, you know, like that. Uh, I don't want to buy a knife like that. It can't be sharpened. And then, uh, so I just disable comments on my YouTube videos just because of that, you know, silliness. But uh, anyway, because you never know who, who these guys are. You know, some of them are legit, and some of them are competition, and you know, etc. But uh, Anyway, so this last when I did the European Barlow, uh, sorry, a little movement going on here. Uh, when I did the European Barlow, I posted a video and did the same thing. Opened the, the knife up with my thumb, and well, you know, knife looks good, but you're gonna have to do something about the, the edge because obviously it can't be sharp. So I called Rob up. I said, Rob, do me a favor. So if you don't mind. Uh, Get you a video, do your video, get your knife that you've got, uh, pull it out of your pocket, and make your video. Show them how sharp it is, etc. And uh, and then mail it to me. Let me make a video opening it, and uh, and then I'll mail it back to you. And you make sure when you get it back, it's the same knife you sent to me. So, because I had, you know, I'm sure there will be people out there that say, well, he dulled it before he did it, and then there'll be people say, well, they're in cahoots, you know, and, and there may even be people say, well, Rob can't even sharpen a knife, so, so anyway, uh, you know, I guess people can always say something, but I don't, I didn't know you couldn't do this, never did know you couldn't do it, uh, nobody told me, so I've just done it all my life, but, uh, oh, I had it in my mind he was going to send a 92, but. Anyway, he sent uh, this little Jim Dandy. I don't know where you got that, Rob, but that's a sweet little knife. Uh, okay. So he taped it. That's like a certificate of authenticity there. He put uh, masking tape over the edge to show that it was his edge and hadn't been messed with, I guess. So I will carefully and lovingly remove that. Okay. All right. So this is Rob Bixby, who you know these days uh, makes part of his living sharpening knives, and uh, that knife's sharp. It does have a little bit of tape residue, so if it wouldn't get me in too much trouble, and if I can find my chamois, I will clean off the tape residue. But anyway, makes his living doing this, and uh, part of his living, and does a good job of it. I mean, these are he really does a good job sharpening a knife. And there's still some tape to do on the top right there, but I'm not gonna mess with it. But anyway, so that's that's get a little better on the camera. I'm using a new camera, by the way. So, uh, so the knife does have some snap. Nice knife. Uh, on a knife this sharp, that, you know, factory sharp doesn't bother me. And again, factories don't try and get them ready to sharp. Factory sharp don't bother me opening up all the blades. When you get somebody like Rob's edge on them and you start opening up all the blades, that means you're opening one towards the other. And that scares me because if this blade slips or whatever, then you're coming right across that edge. But anyway, uh, 
So drops in. Now that blade's a little tighter. You know, and on a 73, I wouldn't do that. A 73 that has a back spring that has a pull of about nine on it. I wouldn't do that. And these are tight. I mean, this is not a weak little back spring. So these are these are a tight little back spring. But uh, I mean, so it's not a it's not a whether the knife is sharp. It's not that I have steel padding on my fingers. Uh, it's physics. I mean, now I don't, when I open them, I don't take my finger and slide it along the edge. I mean, but, you know, it's kind of like the, the little water bugs that can go across the top of the water without breaking surface tension. You know, it's a, it's a physics issue. So, anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video, show you that even though this is a verified sharp knife, I mean, it's very sharp. I'm not going to cut paper because I don't know how to cut paper and Rob can do that when he gets it back but it's a sharp knife Rob did a good job on it uh, just because I can open them with my thumb doesn't mean they're not sharp really doesn't mean I'm stupid either because I don't recall ever cutting my pad on my thumb uh, but anyway I you know again there'll be some says well that's not legit whatever or he's just stupid which you know that's partially true but uh, anyway just want to do a quick video I'm going to shoot this back to Rob. He can uh, put his video on the front or back of it or whatever he wants to do. And uh, I do appreciate the opportunity to uh, work with customers I work with every day. Uh, I mean, it, would, it wouldn't be any fun without great customers. Uh, I enjoy it. I mean, it's, it's I've said it before. It's a lot like being a drug dealer, I suspect. You know, I started selling to support the habit. Love the people. Love the, uh, love the, the community and uh, anyway that that is me showing uh, those of you I guess that uh, are silly enough in the future how to open a knife with your uh, thumb pushing on a razor sharp edge without slicing your finger in two and, and if you do I mean then you got six fingers and you're good to go anyway so thank you very much have a good day